So I studied business informatics at IBM. Uh, so I studied computer science with Hewlett Packard Enterprise. Um, I studied uh, computer science with HPE, so Hewlett Packard Enterprise. I finished my bachelor last year <laughs> in October. I finished my bachelor degree in September last year and I got hired from a company that has a collaboration with HPE and I'm now like uh, working as an R&D developer. I think I will start with what I did in my internships and then where it led me to. Um, my internships were like really diverse. I I started in sales, then tech sales, in consulting, and at the end, I actually worked as a like basically as a programmer. And I think that's like a huge point in in this kind of system because it gave me the chance to learn stuff I wasn't able to learn in, in university. Right now, my career path is very straightforward. So I studied computer science at Hewlett Packard Enterprise. I graduated um, recently and I uh, kept working at, at Hewlett Packard Enterprise now. But um, if I would have uh, chosen a different path, I would have definitely known where to apply because I got to know all these companies and I got to know the people that could connect me to recruiters and stuff like that. For example, my friends who also studied with me, um, they also gained a lot of experience and they are really beneficial network contacts. For example, one friend of mine, she's studying now in, in Paris and she's doing a, in, at a really, really well-known university and she's probably doing her PhD as well. And another friend of mine got a job offer in New York at IBM and another friend got a prize of 5,000 euros and I was really, really grateful to have like this, like this opportunity to have a company where you know the company and they know that you are familiar with the company as well. When you study at DHBW, you um, are connected with various people from various companies, from various industries, actually. When I applied for my studies, I actually didn't really know what I wanted to do. And during my internships, I um, had a lot of contact with people and learned a lot of different stuff and had a chance to see, okay, I hate sales, I will never work there. And um, yeah, actually, I never thought I would be good at some technical stuff, but I am if I try. So. Okay, my course um, was dedicated to three main companies. So we were like 30 people with uh, three large companies, but other courses, they are diversified. Like they have 30 people of maybe 12 or 15 companies. After I finished my degree, I was, giving an, I was given a job offer by IBM from a department I worked with. I actually declined it because I wanted to do a master's degree, but yeah, it would have been a great chance and yeah, now I'm doing a, like another internship before my master starts at Otto, which is kind of like Germany's small answer to Amazon. You go to these uh, large enterprise companies and choose them as your partner company for your studies. They open up many possibilities to go for at least one internship um, yeah, overseas even. So I went to America, to California, to the headquarters of Hewlett Packard Enterprise I, and conducted a uh, internship there. We're often international in our internships. Uh, for, for the university, I went to Thailand in 2019. So I studied there for like three months and spent until like five months in Thailand. So that was pretty, pretty dope. It was really awesome. And it was just amazing getting to know the different like work culture. And obviously I had a lot of free time and uh, going around, uh, visiting different places in America. So we often had contact with people from different parts of the world. And one friend of mine actually um, went to India for a business trip. Then afterwards I came back for a week or so and I went to Ireland, Galway to work there for... Um, HPE as well and spent there also three months. I did a semester abroad in Dublin. And I couldn't really believe that I was there. Like I remember this one conversation with a friend where I realized, man, we're 20 years old and we are in goddamn America and the company pays for it. Like uh, you really think that you made it in life. 